And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down at the 32. That makes it second and eight. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Robinson's intended to see more of the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Fires out to his receiver. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Throwing right. Incomplete pass. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense and put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. After a decent run up the gut. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down at about the 21. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 21. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. I can't do it. Inside the 10, and he's tackled around the two yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 69 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Edwards is a guy that when you talk to him, you just think, you know what? He loves this. He loves the fact that it's a hostile environment. The crowd is on his case. He knows he's going to get double teamed. He just wants to go out and play. He does. I, I think he comes alive because of, you know, whether it's the fans or 
or the team that, uh, that he's playing against on the road or challenging him seems to bring out the best in him. I think he feels threatened, and when you're the superstar on an offense and you're on the road, the crowd and that defense are going to be coming after you. And over the weeks, we've seen him really step up his game, and we'll see if he can do it again today. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. He takes it right side for a good game. Game of six yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 44-yard line, second down. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. First down. Throws and it's incomplete. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Just throws this one away. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up. And this is no good. He didn't have the leg for it. Now they leave three points on the field there. And our score, 7-0, Georgia. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Down right around the 48 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Let's go. Georgia is up a score. There he goes. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 44-yard line, it's third down. He's on the run. He's at the 30, decides to slide. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First and ten. Ball on the 26. What a play, and that is first and goal. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They're at the eight. It's second down. And he 
and carries the ball for a nice game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Georgia is up seven. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He has some room. Nice run there. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's level at the 30. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. He fights forward to about the 30. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He throws a dart to the left. Schmidt was the intended receiver on the play. And that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 34. Georgia's on a roll. They've really been clicking in all phases of this one early. Yeah, when you play a team like this that you know you're physically better than, just leave no doubt. Take control of the game early and try to dominate, and that's what we've seen. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. from their own 37-yard line. Second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Fights forward to about the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. Five wide. Up the middle for a nice game. And 
that'll put an end to the first quarter of action. 14-0, Bulldog. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. From the 34 yard line, it's second down. Run inside, stop quickly. No gain on the play. That'll make it third and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tight end, right. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Swift gets another carry. Gets to about the 34 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and it sails right on him. No good. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. hit immediately the offense only got the first down by about a yard but I'm sure they'll be happy with the new set of downs first down it's first and ten ball on their own 45 he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line Taken down right around the 34. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked that up. That's a good that. test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34. Shoved out of bounds at the 27 yard line. That's a game of seven on the way. That makes it second and two. He's taken down right around the 26 yard line. Third down again. Makes it to the 17. That's good for game. This is the ninth play of this drive. He 
Jones out of bounds right around the 14 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 14 yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pitches back. And he's tackled at about the three yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he adds the extra point. A 12-play, 68-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia up seven points. These tackles at about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Gets out to around the 35. Got some open field. Gains his way to midfield. First down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 42. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. No, he dropped it. So it's fourth down. What do you think they're going to do here? At this point in the game, they might as well go for it. They won't lose much field position if they don't get it, and they only have a couple yards to go. Georgia is up by a touchdown. Kicks up, and he hooked it left. So sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. Didn't happen that time. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. You can't block me. You can't block me. Makes it out to about the 50. Hold a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought 
fourth down at the 46-yard line. Scrambling. He's at the 40. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. From the 36 yard line, first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He guns it, and he snags that one, and he scores! Touchdown! <laughs> and for Edwards, that's his second touchdown catch. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. South Carolina ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 32. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Scrambling around. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Now he's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it 37. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete. He's down. Pickings gains about five yards on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Got a man tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. He's taken down at the 19. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's hit and taken down. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. They come out in a five-wide set. Complete. He's got room, and he hits him hard at the 46. 
Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And down he goes, right around midfield. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. Wants to go long and done. Uh, he goes up, picked off. We played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tied at the half, each team's move has been countered by the other. So far, nobody's been able to establish checkmate or really even generate much momentum. So what is each team, what's the most important thing for the second half for one team to gain an edge in this game? Well, it seems like there has been an answer, and at some point, you know, you just got to get your offense and defense both working together. You know, when you do score, how about you get a stop so you can get your offense back and continue to add to the lead? And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, you know, the, the game swings and it goes one way and you can't stop it, and then it comes back the other way. So I think maybe it's a special teams play. You know, maybe it's something off the radar that, that you're used to. Maybe a big punt return, a block punt, but... So far, the offenses and defenses seem even. Maybe you can get an edge on the special team. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including your Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires out to his wideout, and he's immediately tackled. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They make the stop at the 44. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 44-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Number two on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws it in a hurry. He's at the 30, and he's taken down around the 19 yard line. Number two with the tackle at the 19 yard line. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Pitches it. He's got the corner, and he tackles him hard at the 19-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Nice run up the middle. 
That's a five on the play. That'll make it 35. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 18-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 28. That's good for being 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Five wide. Caught out of the open. He's taken down the 39-yard line. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. Swift gets another hand on Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Here's the eighth play of the series. the corner they'll make the sack you can't take sacks like that as a quarterback you just can't if you can't find a receiver get out of the pocket and throw the ball away they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time they get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds at the 24. That'll bring up third and six. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. 
Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Two down, two down. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. Go ahead. Oh, oh. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. a great tackle at the 39. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Nice run there. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at the 20. He's still going. Makes it to the 14. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. made at about the 15 yard line if these defenders continue to exploit the o-line like that, that it's going to be a long day for this running back gives it up the gut he's tackled at the six great job by the running back and that's a gain of nine it's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Touchdown, Bulldogs! <laughs> and he converts the extra point. Georgia kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice play across the middle. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. Close to being intercepted. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. Complete. So at the end of the third quarter, 
The Bulldogs lead 21-14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds for the 32 yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Georgia up seven points. Here they come. It's a fumble. And the offense picks it up. And he's level at the 22. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. at the 31-yard line. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Edwards, the return man. Booming kick. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. After positive yardage. That makes it second and six. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Drop him for a loss. I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. I and mean, when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He's hit and taken down. Get to that quickly. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Got the corner. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Georgia is up seven. He fights forward to about the 39. No good game of play. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 47 yard line. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. From the 44-yard line, first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Go, 
He sails it long. Got it to the senior. Touchdown, Georgia! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Blankenship has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They come out in a five wide set. There he goes. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Watch 25. Watch the out. Watch the out. Go, go. Aaron and out long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And he's tackled at the 42. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 41. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's taken down at the 47. Throws it in a hurry. Coming after this punter. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Less than three minutes in the game. Steps out at the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play.
So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line. I'd go right back to it. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review, After review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. And he adds the extra point. So a nine play, 80 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Oh, what a hit. Well, they tried, but they couldn't get the ball back. Brad, they still have some time left, but it'll be up to their defense now to make a big play. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. From the 38-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the net result is a loss. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. You know, that's a pretty good effort here by the offense to be able to pick up some yards on the ground. But they come up a little bit short, and it's going to set up a fourth down. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He hooked it right. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 42-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. They'll spread the field with five wide. The cavalry's coming. Lost the ball. Fumble. It's picked up. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. For the 20. The 10. Touchdown! 
And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Not looking so good for the offense. At this point, all they can do is put the ball in the air and hope. to the running back. Brought down at the 30. Turner picks up around five yards with that catch. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats, so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. Once and all, going deep. Missed him. Offense, offense, and more offense in this one. And it's finally over. Georgia, 35. South Carolina, 21. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Pretty comfortable win. Right about what we expected. This was a strong effort. Georgia looked like a very strong club. It wasn't a blowout, but you don't have to always run the score up to show that you can play. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.